Okay guys, in the last video, we learned about the set type, which can also be called as a strong set because of the way in which it stores object references. So let's try to understand what I mean by that with an example. Let us first create a new set. So let my set is equal to new set. And I'm also going to have an object. So let key is equal to pair of curly braces. And let's try to add that. So my set dot add key. Now when I log the set size, it's going to be my set dot size. And when we head over to the browser, it's going to be one. Now I'm going to set key is equal to null and then log the size again. So my set dot size. So when we run this on a browser, it's still one. So what we can infer from the example is that even though the key was set to null, a reference to the key object still existed in our set. And we can just as easily retrieve it by saying key is equal to the spread operator on my set and we can have of zero. So this is going to give us that object back. Now, but sometimes to aid with garbage collection and avoid memory leaks, we would prefer that the reference in a set to disappear when all other references disappear. And for this purpose, ES2015 introduced weak sets. Now, a weak set is very much like a strong set. It has the add method, it has the has method, and also the delete method. But two main differences are, it can store only object references and not primitive values, and the object references are weak. So if all other references like this are removed, then a weak set allows for garbage collection. Now to create a weak set, we can say let set is equal to new weak set. I think it needs to be a smaller one, weak set. Now we can have let key is equal to this and set dot add key. And once we do this, we can log set dot has key. And when we save this, Weak set is not defined. Let me change this to capital. Save this. And there you go, true. So key is a value in this set. Now, when we have key is equal to null, and when we run this code, the reference to key in the weak set is no longer accessible. And the funny thing is, it is not even possible to verify if the reference is removed because we need at least one reference to this object to pass to the has method. So we just have to put our faith in the JavaScript engine. Now, the only advantage of weak set over a strong set is memory is handled properly with weak sets. So let's say if we need to track, uh, so if we have to only track the references to objects and nothing more than that, then a weak set should be preferred over a strong set. So that's pretty much it about weak set. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.